reform in this country. In fact, where were they when we were trying to do election reform? They were fighting against McCain-Feingold and fighting against, oh, fighting against our ethics bill. They held up for six months, which we finally got the president to sign a couple of weeks ago. If they really want reform, we'll reform the whole country at one time. And we'll get real reform. And we'll pass that election bill of Rush Holtz that's been languishing in, in, uh, in the Congress uh, because the, the Republicans don't want to uh, pass it. Then we'll do real election reform. But if we're going to do real election reform, we're going to do it for the whole country and not just selectively choose the states where a little reform helps uh, to steal the election and, and mitigate and, and get rid of California's uh, uh, influence on the process. Also, on that note, I want to thank Senator Feinstein, who's introduced legislation to the Senate to create a national popular vote. It is a true reform. I think we're going to be paying attention to that as, a, as the days go forward. Any further questions? Yeah, I. I this ongoing mantra, don't change the rules, it's not fair to change the rules. I, I'm just trying to get clear, what is this really about? Is it about election reform, trying to do everything in all states the same way? I mean, it's not done in all the same way in all states now. Uh, so what is that? I mean, I, I feel so you're saying different Mario, things you're, you're here. We believe, uh, there are, I shouldn't speak for everybody here, there are many people who believe the electoral college is a big problem. What the Republicans are trying to do is to sell the people of California the idea that we ought to fix this in California, knowing that that advantage is only Republicans. They don't give a damn about reform. They never have given a damn about reform. All they want to do is fix it in California. They, have, they could have done this in Texas. They control the legislature and the governor in Texas. They could have done this just like that in Texas. How come they didn't start there? No, they start here because it's a way of diluting California's vote. If you want to do this, there's actually a great initiative, which we actually talked about the government and decided not to because we don't want to complicate things, which you may well see subsequently. It's run by a Californian and then Jonathan Coza, and I forget the exact name of it. Uh, but you may see that later on. There are ways of fixing this sort of, and Senator Feinstein bill. But the key here is you've got to do it for the entire country at once. And if you do it by picking off state by state, it is nothing but a political sham and a sophisticated election fraud. And that's what we're seeing here in California. And, and my question is, what is the rule then that 